as you guys have probably heard me talk about here on my channel a few times, I was working with a team to film some type of content for this platform, and just to make a long story short, it unfortunately is no longer happening, and due to all of this kind of coming to a halt, it kind of made me feel just unappreciated and undervalued, but most of all, going through this process actually made me feel as if I was not good enough as a creator and as a person and in turn I really started to neglect all of the work that I had to get done and I started to ultimately like neglect my crocheting and just my joy and my hobby and what brings me all of this happiness. Now that it's been a few weeks I gave myself just enough time to sit with my thoughts and sit with my feelings and I've come to the conclusion that it's no longer healthy for me to just be upset all the time and just neglect and not focus on what I need to be focusing on. I really just want to take this time to just dive back in, get my hands dirty, keep myself busy. And if any of you guys are, you know, watching this, I just want you guys to know it's normal to feel upset. It's normal to have these waves and these moments of emotions where you don't feel good enough. But at the end of the day, others don't define you. Other brands don't define you. What you do with your time and your life is truly what defines you. And I just want to make more of an emphasis to redirect my time and my energy into what's truly going to serve me and serve my happiness. And we're just trying to manifest some good vibes here for the end of 2022. Thank you guys for just being a part of my journey and for caring about me. My happiness lies here with you guys, creating videos, creating content, and just most importantly, crafting. So I'm going to stay on that grind. <laughs> You're so cute. Who made you so cute? I just pulled into the parking lot at Joanne Fabric because I actually have a free $10 coupon and it expires today. So I don't necessarily need more yarn. Let's kind of gallivant around and see what I end up purchasing with my $10 off coupon. Right now, Joann's is actually having 30% off their entire stock. So I do want to pick up a couple new colors for just some more tutorials that I have planned. I already have this shade. This is in Sunset. But I kind of want to make like another scarf tutorial for beginners. And this colorway, this is in Tartan. I'm not going to overdo it. I really only want to be spending the $10 here. So I think I'm going to pick up two of these. It should come out to about... $14 but with the $10 off coupon only $4 for two cakes of yarn it doesn't get better than that honestly I'm so tempted to grab like everything but I'm really doing my best to be a little bit more conscious about my spending and just hoarding yarn that I'm not typically using every single day but I'm happy with my new finds Another quick stop over at Michael's, like I mentioned earlier. I also have a 30% off coupon for all Michael purchases. So I've really had my eye on the Karen Cloud Cakes, but I don't know if they have the colorway that I'm looking for. So it's just gonna be a quick little stop. For this massive anniversary cake. These colors. Look at this colorway. It's like, I almost said candy apple. I'm thinking like a Granny Smith. Granny Smiths are green, right? But this stuff is some of the most delectable yarn I've ever seen in stores. So again, this is the cloud cakes, but look at this. Now, this is one of the Karen Cloud Cakes that I've had my eye on, like one of the colorways. 
So I like that this is just kind of, you get it, it's kind of neutral, grays, a little bit of tan, black. Some of the best polyester yarn I've ever put my hands on. I love this, but again, this is not quite the colorway that I was looking for. I should probably go home, save my money, and not be such a yarn aholic. So this is the colorway that I was looking for in the Karen Cloud Cakes. And fortunately or unfortunately, they only have this one cake left. Sweater that you guys have seen me been working on. It's huge. But we're getting it done. Stripe it. <laughs> it's really cute. I didn't realize the gray change. I got home from my little crochet date about two, two and a half hours ago. And I spent some time, my hair looks crazy. I spent some time filming a new video, but now that that's done and out of the way, it's currently about 2.20 in the afternoon. I'm gonna be swamped. I have so many orders that I need to dye and take care of. So I'm gonna package these up and then hopefully spend the rest of the day lounging in bed, crocheting, just getting cozy. New holiday hooks are coming. I haven't decided yet if I want the set to be all one shade of blue or if I want every other hook to alternate between this like really light, oh my gosh, look at that. But these are some new hooks. You guys should see these in the sunlight. So freaking stunning. Obviously working on some more floral hook sets. These are still kind of drying a little bit. Have new floral hooks that I still need to grind up.
colorway. I just dyed this one last night because I had a few mystery orders and I absolutely love how it came out. It's such a gorgeous like semi-tonal slight variegation. with another morning matcha it's been a few more days since i last popped on to the cozy vlog but i'm just still on my grind just staying busy like i said i have been kind of changing up my routine and starting off my mornings with a matcha instead of an iced coffee but i'm really excited to show you guys the whip i think the last thing that you guys saw was i was still working on the panels and the sleeves but as of a few days ago I finished her up and she is absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure you guys can tell that this is pretty massive for my body size, but since it's finished, I just wanna wear it today because it's so comfy cozy. I did make this sweater with the intent that Jordan and I could both share it. He kind of classifies as like a men's medium kind of sweater t-shirt wear so I did gear this a little bit towards a men's medium maybe even a men's large but we both love to wear kind of like baggy stuff and this fits me so well I could even kind of like wear this as a dress this is how long the sweater is but I fell in love with this color blocked technique I really love that I don't know there's just really obvious chunks and blocks of color. I feel like this would be really, really cute if I got like a belt and like cinched it in at the waist and I could just kind of wear this as like a winter dress or like a cozy around the house kind of dress, but this thing feels so, so nice. I also have like a little mystery package. It is addressed to me. Figured I would just unbox this and we can see what came in the mail together. No way. Oh, this is so fun. I cannot believe they actually sent this to me. So I believe this is by Centro on Amazon, but that whole like knitting machine, Centro sent me their brand new like 48 needle knitting machine. So I think I'm gonna have to commemorate this really awesome like little PR box and I definitely want to start making some stuff with this. I have been kind of therapy knitting the last few days and I have been <laughs> knitting in the round. I've been using some like leftover Noro yarn. This stuff, so gorgeous. It's 100% wool, but believe it or not, it feels like merino wool, but it's not. But anyways, this is kind of just like a little project that I've been working on, but I wanted to kind of knit something that was heavily inspired by art by Kara Lees over on Instagram. She has some really gorgeous makes, so I figured I would kind of just therapy knit something, cast on something with my leftover yarn. But look at these color gradations. It is a little bit more self-striping, at least with this pattern that I'm working on. <sighs> But look at these colors. I die. I die over like the little greeny sections. I love these pops of green. I feel like this looks so gorgeous already. Maybe use this machine and knit up some really quick beanies because I don't have the time to be hand knitting them. Sometimes impossibly curved and so nonchalant, hence their ageless ambiguity, as if they're daring you to desire them. I just took another quick little shower just because I've been grinding hooks and glossing hooks for like the last two hours. But while I'm sitting here, I figured I would unbox 
this really cute little package that was sent over from Merit Beauty. Thank you guys. I love that Merit Beauty stuff is featured on Sephora's website as like the clean makeup line. And not only do they have makeup, but they also have like a little bit of skincare. So this is their La Fette edition. It came out, I believe in December, but this is a super cute little like holiday gift set that you guys could gift to your loved ones or even gift to yourself. This little holiday set is so cute. So right here they have their Instant Glow Serum. They also have, I believe, their Clean Lash Mascara. So I figured I would put on just a little bit of this treat myself for the day, but this is the Instant Glow Serum. This is what I am the most excited to try on. I've seen this on their website. This stuff is a little bit messy, but let's go ahead and just pop some of this on. Ooh. Wow, that actually just melts right into the skin. I feel like this would be a really good base to put on before I chuck on some foundation or some makeup. And then I also have a really cute little Merit Signature Lip. This is in the shade Aperitif, if I'm saying that correctly. Ooh, this is actually like the perfect holiday red. Let's go ahead and just put some <laughs> right at the high points of my face. I probably should have put makeup on before this or else I might look a little bit silly. But now if I just kind of go ahead and blend this out with my fingers. <sighs> Do y'all see that? And there we have it, just a quick little skincare moment, little self-care routine. But if you guys would also like to shop some of Merit's wonderful beauty and skincare products, then I do have an affiliate link down below for you guys to use if you guys would like. This is what I've been looking like for the past three hours. I haven't even weaved in all of the ends on the beanie, but I just kind of tucked it up. And I kind of like that it looks a little bit more like a sun hat kind of looking thing. Does that make any sense? It doesn't really look like a beanie, it kind of looks like a summertime hat, but I do need to prep for bedtime because it's been a terribly long day and I'm ready to just relax. So let's clean up and get snugly in bed. tonight. I rarely do this, but I've really been liking the Trader Joe's pumpkin overnight face mask. So let's pop her on, take care of our skin because she's, she's a little unhappy recently. It's that time of the month, so 